Hello backpackers, this is Juan from Juan Backpacks and I'm here to talk to you about my three backpack quiver that covers me across many different use cases in the backpacking that I do. I try to keep my equipment simple and I try to keep my selection of backpacks very minimalist and simple and so that's what I do. Here's kind of an example of some of the trips and the breadth of trips that I do. They can be anywhere from a couple days long to a month long and everywhere in between. They could be in the Sierra Mountains in California, which I've done through hiked the Tahoe Rim Trail, I've through hiked the uh, High Sierra Trail, I've also through hiked the John Muir Trail, or they could be here on the East Coast in the Appalachian Mountains. Um, I've done the Smoky Mountains through North Carolina. I've also done some stuff in Pennsylvania as well, some through hikes on some smaller trails around 100 miles. So the breadth of my backpacking is, is pretty wide. The areas where I go is, is fairly wide as well. And these are the three backpacks that I use when I'm making my trips. And these three backpacks have covered me completely in all those trips. I'd also like to add before I dive into that is that my base weight typically for any trip is around 10 to 13 pounds. So I'm in that kind of light, really light or ultra light realm most of the time, most of the time. So let's dive into the first pack in the largest pack in my three pack series. So the first pack I'm gonna drag out here is the Outdoor Vitals uh, Shadow Light 60 liter. Just some stats about, the, about this pack first before I dive into some use cases. This is a 60 liter pack. It's internal, it holds 50 liters in the main body of the, the pack. Outside the back or the front mesh pocket, which is divided in half, the side pockets are two on each side here and here. The hip belt pockets as well, those are 12, I'm sorry, those are 10 liters. So a total of 60 liters between the inside of the main pack and the pockets as well. So you've got a 50 liter main compartment. The weight of this pack is a half an ounce short of two pounds. One pound, 15.5 ounces. So it's basically slightly under two pounds, which makes it an ultralight pack in my estimation. The material is water resistant, not waterproof. It's not seam sealed or tape, but the water resistance does help in certain scenarios. The frame, the pack is framed. Uh, it uses an internal metal stay that's very minimal and light. And then it also uses this a foam uh, backing that you can pull out to sit on a sit pad that to also add some rigidity to the pack. And so this pack is designed to carry 35 pounds. I would say that this pack carries 35 pounds comfortably. Um, that is rare. A lot of times packs will say, you know, this is, you know, the top end and this ne not necessarily the comfort end. I've carried over 30 pounds in this pack and it's felt perfectly fine. Now let's dive into some of the use cases for this particular pack. One that comes to mind just recently um, is, you know, the, my trip on the Tahoe Rim Trail. Uh, it would, that happened in July. I use this pack when I've got to carry a big bear can. So this is a BV 500. And so just for size comparison, I also have a BV 450. Probably the only person on the East Coast that has two different bear cans because I go to the Sierra so often. So you can see the size difference there. When I'm gonna carry my big bear can and I need you know nine to 10 days of food uh, at a time in a bear can, I'm going to carry my, you know, my 60 liter pack because it's got room to carry that in here upright and comfortably. Um, I'm also going to use this pack when I'm winter camping or when I need to carry a lot of bulky gear or more gear. Example of that would have been um, the Tahoe Rim Trail. I had to carry snow travel gear, which meant uh, you know, some gear stacked on top of what I would normally carry in the scenario. I think I was around 13 pounds of base weight. Um, for my Tahoe Rim Trail with all the little bit of extras I had to carry for snow travel. The other use case I have for this is whenever, I, obviously I'm going to push 30 pounds or more with my total pack weight. And in the Tahoe Rim Trail, another reason I switched to using this pack, I was gonna use the, my second pack I'm gonna talk about, was that I was gonna do water carry, a long water carry um, for a good number of miles. I think it was over 30 miles. I had to carry up to five liters at a time um, I think it was like closer to 40 miles. And that means about 10 pounds of water. And I carried five 
days of food, plus my BV450, the smaller bear can, because I was only carrying five days of food at a time. But I had a lot of extra snow gear with me that drove my overall pack weight up into the 30 pound or just overweight. And so I went with this Shadow Light 60 liter pack that carried those weights very, very comfortably. So also the other use case for me with this pack is if I know I'm gonna be going out in a lot of inclement weather because it's water resistant, I typically grab this pack regardless of the gear that I'm taking. I, I like the fact that the, you know, the water doesn't soak into the materials and so forth, but I know there's gonna be a ton of rain you know, for a weekend trip or something like that. So those are my use cases. Winter, a lot of bulky gear, heavier loads, 30 to 35 pounds. Uh, that's gonna be this pack right here. Now, my next pack is probably my favorite pack, and that's my Gossamer Gear G420. Just some stats on the Gossamer Gear G420. <clears throat> Number one, it's a 42 liter pack. This pack is a size um, small, and so is my other pack. It's size small, hip belt size small pack. So this is a size small as well. Um, it carries 30 liters inside the main compartment of the pack. It's a roll top, just like the Shadow Light is. Uh, it carries 30 liters there. And then the front pot mesh pocket here, the asymmetrical side pocket for the shelter, the water side pocket here, um, and then uh, the hip belt, which is sewn in on this one, not removable. Um, this uh, also has some zipper pockets on both sides. And so, that carries an additional 12 liters. So you've got a 42 liter carrying capacity with this pack. The pack total weight is a good bump down from the shadow light. This pack weighs 23.5 ounces. The material is nylon, aerobic nylon. It does soak up water. It is not waterproof, so I do use a pack liner with this. The carrying capacity of this pack, which is not framed, this is a non-frame backpack, frameless backpack. It only uses this uh, sit pad that's in here that can be pulled out for, um, for structure. The total carrying capacity of this weight capacity of this pack uh, is listed as a max of 30 pounds. Honestly, I would question that a little bit. The comfort carry weight is 25 pounds. I think it would hit that pretty easily. I've carried this in the 20 to 22 pound range and it's felt really good at 20 to 22. So I, I really have a hard time thinking that just bumping another two, three pounds in there would really put this thing over the top. But to put 30 pounds in this, I don't know. I mean, again, I don't have experience going to 30 pounds, but that's where I'd probably switch to my shadow light because I know that'll carry 30 pounds comfortably with the frame. Um, but this is my favorite pack. Um, some of the use cases for this particular pack would be number one, even if I'm doing the Tahoe Rim Trail, like this literally was the pack I was going to take because I was only going to have my smaller bear can, the BV450. So if I'm carrying my BV450, I'm going to go with my Gossamer Gear G420 uh, and then only about five days of food. So my weight's going to be down. Or if I'm just carrying this food bag, which is super light with just some food in it, I'm gonna use my Gossamer Gear G420 for that. Um, if I'm going on a trip where I'm gonna, you know, fall, summer, um, you know, spring, and I'm gonna be carrying my normal base weight of, you know, 10 to 13 pounds, I really feel like I can get away with this particular pack. This is a great pack for traveling light and far on through hikes, I think. I'd be really comfortable um, doing the John Muir Trail on this pack if I decided to do more miles each day. The reason I used the bigger pack on the John Muir Trail, the Shadow Light, was that we were actually moving slower on purpose, so we needed to carry more food. Had I just been like through hiking at max speeds, um, I would have probably opted for this in a BV450, and I would have been just fine doing that through hike with this. So it also depends on how fast you want to go. Um, I've carried fishing gear and my ultralight, you know, 10 pound uh, base weight with this and two, three, four days of food very easily in this. Again, I'm gonna use this pack if I'm in that 15 to 20, just over 20 pounds, um, you know, total pack weight. Uh, I'll use this pack all day, every day to do those kind of trips. That's why this is kind of the workhorse, the middle of the road workhorse, because it, it literally just handles like all those like just a few days a week or, or the long through hike 
where you're, you know, you're covering ground so you don't have to carry as much water, as much food, those kind of things. So I love this pack. It, it's a fantastic pack. So that's my most used pack. The last pack, the third pack of my quiver is a newer one that I got when this first came out. The first week they released it, I got this on the Gossamer Gear website. This is the um, Gossamer Gear Fast Kumo. It's a fast pack. So this has a specific purpose, but I can also see this being useful in other scenarios, which I'll explain in a couple seconds. So um, the Fast Kumo is 36 total liters. It's, uh, it's instead of a roll top, it uses a fold over. Uh, it's the main compartment carries 28 liters, which is actually pretty darn good capacity. Um, the pockets, which is the front mesh pocket here, there is two side mesh pockets, and then there are actually mesh, mesh pockets on the removable um, hip belt, which is pretty minimalist. See here, just a little bit of minimalist hip belt. And then it's got a running style vest here. You've got two water bottle holders here, and I've got water bottles in it now. You've got a phone holder zipper pocket here. You've got a little pocket for uh, food, little snacks. You even have a little side stash pocket, they call it, for trash. And this came in super handy when I've used this. Um, and then it is a non-frame pack with a uh, pull-out sit pad in here for some structure. And so it's a very minimalist pack. Um, it's, it's excellent though, I, I love this pack. And I'll, I'll tell you a couple, um, you know, a few more stats about it. The total pack weight here is 20.7 ounces. So it's lighter than my other two packs by far. Uh, it's nylon, aerobic nylon, so you do have to use a pack liner with it. Uh, it will carry, uh, Gossamer Gear says 20 pounds comfortably, uh, and then 25 pounds uh, max. I would say that you probably carry 25, 20 pounds comfortably in it. I don't know that you could really run very fast with 20 pounds in the back of this. Um, I haven't tested it there. I probably have been as high as 13 to 14 pounds um, backpacking really fast with it and running with it. Um, and it's done, 10 pounds in here is easy running with 10 pounds. So I can't imagine like 15 pounds wouldn't be pretty darn easy as well. Um, I think once you push to 20 pounds, that would be a little bit fuzzy, but again, I haven't been up there with this pack yet. So some use cases so far I've found for this pack. One, I did the Allegheny 100, only made it 50 miles though, but I, I did that pretty, pretty, in a pretty quick order until I got injured. Um, there I was using about a seven pound base weight because it was in the summer. I had a minimalist shelter, which was basically a tarp with a, a ground cloth and a very light summer sleeping bag and some other gear and some food, you know, enough food for 50 hours of, of backpacking because it was kind of this through hike kind of thing you had to do within a certain number of hours, 100 miles. And it worked really well. As a matter of fact, I, I loved it because it was so efficient, so efficient, this pack. Um, it puts everything right there for you. So if you're going to be able to travel light and, and also if you want to cover a lot of miles in a day, this is it. The first day, I think I hiked over, I backpacked over 30 miles the first day with this pack. Um, and then the other use case I had for it was the Crucible hike, which is 70 miles of the entire Laurel Highlands Trail for a fundraiser for a veterans organization. We had to do that in 2.5 days. We were hiking 24 miles the first day, 28 miles the second day, and just over 20 on the third day. And we did not need to carry our own food because there were aid stations every five miles to eight miles. And in the evening when we did camp, um, they brought in food for us. And so we didn't need any food prep stuff. We didn't need to carry anything besides snacks in our water we needed between uh, aid stations. I carried probably a seven pound base weight on that one too. And that was with my tent and some of my sleep gear, uh, some of my in-camp gear and first aid kits, just basic stuff. And it fit nicely in this pack. I even carried a one pound chair, <laughs> um, you know, and it, and it fit nicely in this pack. And so anytime that you're able to cut down on your gear to minimalist level, levels, I'd say under 10 pounds, Anytime that you're able to cut down on food because you're moving faster, you're covering more miles and let cover, cutting down on the water you need to carry, uh, thus cutting down on your max weight, right? Um, I think this is a great option. I honestly could see this uh, fast Kumo being used in the summer for a two, three, maybe a four day trip, quite honestly. I think it's got enough 
capa carrying capacity uh, to do a trip like that in the summer with minimalist gear, with ultralight style gear. Um, and so I'm actually looking forward to doing that, like using it like on a weekend trip where you're going out for two or three nights. I think you could do that very easily as long as you're not taking like fishing gear and a bunch of other stuff with you. So this is the Fast Kumo, which covers another area of my backpacking, um, you know, <laughs> endeavors. So those are my three backpacks and my quiver, some of the use cases for those backpacks, some of the stats about the backpacks as well that are helpful to figuring out how it fits into different use cases. If you have different backpacks that you like for different uses, definitely post it down below. Love to hear about it. Until next time, backpackers, get out there and do some backpacking. Do some hiking. Stop watching YouTube videos unless they're mine. Then watch all of them from start to finish. Later, backpackers.